Hey family, it's Tasha, Mom Bear Homestead. So today, I just want to talk about homesteading and some stuff that I've been seeing across, you know, um, YouTube and different social media platforms. And it has to do with homesteading and the thought process of what homesteading is. And I think it's odd when I see, and I see this often, is homesteads channels or social medias. It doesn't matter where it's at, IG. It doesn't really matter where it's at. And I see them attacking other people and saying, that's not even a homestead. They don't even live on a homestead. And it's another channel maybe that has homestead in their name and all this stuff. And I get the argument, right? Or people are like, you don't have a homestead. Like, you know, I've got a piece of property uh, in outside, you know, in the county lines, unincorporated, you know, land. It's a half an acre, okay? Um, it's a little less than half an acre, actually. It's like 0.48, right? Um, I have this little piece of land, but to me, it's everything because I know the potential of what it can be, right? And, you know, folks would be like, how do you have this channel, Mama Bear Homestead? Like, what does that even mean? Like, you live in your house, you have lights from the city, you have water from the city. Yes, we're on a septic, so we're not on septic sewer. Um, you know, you got some backyard chickens. Ooh, special, right? Ooh, you garden, you know, you have some tomatoes and peppers growing, like you're amazing, right? And folks will attack people on you know, whether they have a homestead or not, right? And yes, I'm sure there's a definition possibly out there of what a homestead is or what it's supposed to be. But I think that we should get away, number one, from attacking each other and telling people, well, you don't have a homestead because you don't do this, or you don't have a homestead because you still work and have a job and you're not there you know, working 24 hours a day on that homestead, or you don't have any major livestock, you don't have horses and cows. And so therefore you're not a homestead or you don't have hundreds of acres. So you're not a homestead. Um, my point is, is a homestead is what you make it. It's kind of like a home is what you make it, right? The thought process for me and my family is to take what we have. And in this case, we have half an acre and to develop it into what we consider a homestead, which is building a spot that is self-sufficient, self-reliant, eventually getting to the point where we are, can do everything ourselves here. And a lot of people will be, but that's not even, you know, you're on city lights, for example. Well, the game plan though, is to build projects, to build things and to have and produce our own power one day so that we won't have to depend on that. Should it go away or should we get to the point where we're like, we don't need it or we just have our backups ready to go, right? Same thing with the food. The idea is you're growing food, right? To produce for yourself. Now, I get it. People are like, half an acre, you can't even produce enough food for your family on that. Well, I would beg to differ. I think that if you do things right, I think that if you are creative, that you can do anything that you put your mind to, okay? And even if you get to the point where it is not 100%, it is still food. And food still means survival, okay? And so I think it's important that we don't dog people of the amount of food that they're growing. Or you're not even growing enough for it to be constituted as a homestead. Or you're not this or you're not that, okay? There's a thousand and one ways to do this, to grow food, to, to harvest food, um, to preserve food, batches, rotations. There's all types of stuff that you can do, okay? Um, so don't let people say that you don't have a homestead because you're in the beginning stages. We are extremely in the beginning stages, right? Um, you know, this last season, I had literally just the patio garden. That's it. And because I, we had to wait for the septic to be totally overhauled, right? And this season will push forward. And every season you'll push forward and push forward and do more and do more and grow upon it, right? Right now, we just have backyard birds, not even getting eggs yet. Well, that, you don't even have a homestead. You, you barely have some backyard birds, right? But it's the point that it's the beginning. It's not the only animal that we plan to get. It's not the only, you know, so it's, I get it. It's important, right? Learning how that, that food cycle, there's aspects that I think are important. One is the food cycle, right? Uh, how to garden, learning how to garden, learning how to harvest, harvesting enough, how to preserve the food, right? How to keep it and make it shelf stable. 
how to produce more of it the next season, going up or doing rotation gardening, whatever it is, um, having some indoors, having in some in a greenhouse, whatever it is you have to do and growing food and that whole food cycle, right? And the food preservation, right? And I think that that's super important. Um, and that makes a, a homestead. I think that if you have the thought process of, okay, raising animals, what can we do in the area of raising animals with what we have? And what are we raising them for? Is it eggs? Is it actual meat? You know, what do we have the space for what animals do we have the space? But a homestead to me is getting to a space where in some capacity you're doing that. I don't think that there's like, you have to have a certain kind of animal to be a homestead, right? ridiculous you know i think there's more experienced homesteads if a homestead can have 10 different types of animals obviously they are a more experienced homestead because they have all of those animals that they are raising and nurturing and utilizing um that is giving back to them right and so i think it makes their picture stronger their family dynamic stronger their homestead as a whole stronger right but to say somebody's not a homestead because they only have a few animals i think is ridiculous okay um i think the goal too for a homestead is people that are creative and know the importance of projects and building things that make life easier and make life where you're dependent on yourself, right? Um, having an outside cook area, having an outside showering area, you never know with grid down and different preparedness, emergency preparedness stuff, having your compost built, right? Doing chicken coops or other pens or other fencing projects, whatever it is, different sheds for things, different barns for holding animals, whatever it is, whatever the project is, um, greenhouses, you name it. Those those projects are all things that are building up that homestead to then attribute to the idea of being self-reliant and self-sufficient, right? Um, and I think that if, if that's your goal and that's what you're doing, you're working towards building a homestead, right? You have folks that literally go into a piece of land that has nothing and, to, and they're like, this is our homestead and they have nothing on it, right? And some folks would be like, well, that's more authentic because it's on 40 acres, let's say, right? Um, but what is authentic is what you say it is, right? And what you know to be true that you're building, right? And that you believe in, okay? I wrote some notes, so let me just make sure that I'm hitting. Um, and, and, and I mentioned this before, but those, those projects, those things, right? You know, we're on uh, water, for example, city water. We're on um power you know so it becomes how do you um take that property and become self-sufficient and produce your own power and um and what do those projects look like so that you're able to do that right whether you make the decision to get off of it yourself or whether you make the decision or you don't make the decision something catastrophic happens emp or whatever and you're and you don't have that anymore and then water you know a lot of people are like well you don't have land you can't drill a well you can't whatever you know you're you're dead in the water well you're you're not okay you just have to think outside the box and work with what you have and what you have i know that we have an extremely high water table here right i know that because of everything we've had to deal with with the septic system right and so and i know that the property is big enough um and that the possibility in certain corners of our property um, to possibly do shallow wells. I know that that's 100% a possibility here. I uh, also understand though that in our area, we have septic tanks that we have to be careful of because you cannot you cannot be drinking water that's cl super close to um, drainage fields, leach fields, so, so it gets dangerous. I also know that it rains a ton here, okay? So we collect water. Um, and of course, we live by several lakes, okay? So it becomes how do you be self-sufficient? How do you live? Do you have enough renewable resources around you as well to help you un um, know that you can continue to have this um, homesteading experience? You know, there's so many things that play into a homestead and make a homestead. And I, I think it's just ridiculous to try to put it in a box and say, you know, and when people, you know, I see a channel who's maybe, 
inspiring and doing different things and doing medicinal stuff and doing different things. And then another channel will be like, well, they're trash, they're garbage, they don't even have a homestead. And and so, you know, what do, what does that mean? You know, what 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 are the checks that you're supposed to have in order to to say something is a homestead or somebody's home and spot is a homestead? I would love in the comments below to hear your guys' thought process of, of, you know, what do you think makes a homestead? I guess, what do you think makes people say that's not a homestead and that it's uh, fake, if you will, or it's not real or it's not authentic? Like, what does that mean? Like, help me understand what, what where somebody's coming from when they say that um, about somebody who's trying to, you know, do things from the land, foraging from the land, using the renewable resources, um, doing medicinal stuff, learning how to treat themselves, growing animals, growing food. Like, help me understand how that's not homesteading, I guess, is my is my thought process. So um, I hope you guys are well. I can't wait to hear your guys' comments. Um, I would love for this channel specifically, if there's stuff you want to um no see we're gonna be bringing videos as we do projects right now i almost brought a video but I, I do a lot of um mundane things i feel like that are just mundane like i'm outside every single day dreaming planning um cleaning up stuff like i just um, pruned a ton of trees and I don't know if people want to even see that stuff, but I, I did that several days just pruning back all these trees, these shrubs and bushes that needed to be trimmed up, hadn't been trimmed for probably over seven years. And um, I just did a lot of that type of maintenance, trying to get that stuff cleaned up so that I can start doing that edging and um, and getting some more trees. We're about to just, um, in the next couple months, get a lot of trees. Um, and bringing those in for that privacy um, fence so we can get that going. But um, I would love to know what your guys' thought process is. is um, you know, I don't want to do all medicinal stuff. I don't want to do all canning stuff. I don't want to do all projects. I, I kind of want to keep it even and the stuff that I bring you guys. Um, but I will be bringing that stuff as I do different things. I will be showing you guys that stuff. I just don't want to inundate the channel with one certain thing, right? Because we do a lot of different stuff here. So let me know if there's something specific you're like, I really wanted to learn about blah, 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 right? Because maybe it's something I want to learn too. And I don't care about being on, on camera and I've never done something. And I'm like, hey, let's do it. So let me know. I hope you guys have a blessed weekend and I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.